Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the new Xbox full screen experience inside Windows 11 25H2. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable that if you don't have it already on the latest dev or better channel build. And also, we're going to talk about it. We're going to briefly mention everything that you can find inside this new experience in Windows 11 25H2. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So first of all, to be able to enable this new experience on any computer you have to be enrolled in the latest beta or dev channel build if you don't have that already and you want to test that out i strongly recommend to not do that on your main computer but if you want to do it just go to windows update make sure you go to the windows insider program and then make sure that where it says choose your insider settings you're either on the dev or on the beta channel now the build that you have to be on so that this experience will be rolling out to you and you'll be able to enable it is the build 26220.7271 version 25h2 this is the build that you have to be on or higher of course if you want to enable this now to enable this we're going to have to get vive tool which is a tool that allows us to basically manually enable features that microsoft is slowly rolling out just get vive tool from the article below in the video description and then just get the latest version that's it you can then open it up using file explorer and then click on extract all click on browse and make sure you extract it into a dedicated folder i have a folder created in this pc the c partition and then hidden features you can create a folder like this yourself select folder and then copy the location because we're going to need it whenever we are running the commands. Click on extract. In my case, I'm going to have to replace the files in the destination and we are good to go. That's everything that we need to do to set up Vive tool. Now to enable this new Xbox full screen experience, we're going to have to open up the search box, type in here CMD, and then click on run as administrator. And on user account control, click on yes. Inside CMD, first of all, type in CD and then paste the location where you extracted Vive tool, and then run the following command. Only one command with one ID, 59765208, and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. A huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or X.com for providing the information and also the ID for this feature. Make sure to follow him on Twitter from the pinned comment below. And also you're going to have all these commands and steps in the article below and you can check everything from there without having to pause the video. Just copy and paste everything. Now exit out the CMD and then restart your computer for the changes to take effect. There are probably people that don't even know what the Xbox full screen experience is. It is basically an experience that allows the Xbox app to be used full screen on Windows 11 and PC users can have a console like feel when using the Xbox app. It is basically a full screen adaptive update for the app, which basically allows people that have a PC to simulate an Xbox console, if you want to say so. The Xbox app, of course, can still be used on a window mode, but now it can also be used as full screen. To use the Xbox full screen experience, you're going to have to first of all, open up the settings app, then from the left side, go to gaming and look for the full screen experience. And from here, make sure you you enable Xbox full screen experience and then turn this on. Now to open it up, you're going to be able to do it with different methods. For example, you can use task view to enable task view in your taskbar, right click on your taskbar and then click on taskbar settings and make sure that task view is enabled from here. And once you hover over task view, you're going to be able to notice the Xbox full screen experience. You can also use the game bar settings if you have that set up or the keyboard combination Windows and F11. And this will open up the Xbox app as easy as that. And as you can see, it automatically opened it up as full screen. As you can see, it will be just as a console, as an Xbox console. And of course, you can play around with your Xbox controller in this full screen experience. I'm using my mouse here for things to be faster, but you can easily use your Xbox controller. Now on the left side, you have the home button, you have the information about the game pass, you have your library, you have cloud gaming, which is also something pretty interesting. You have the store, which will allow you to see pretty much all the games that are available in the Xbox app store. And also you're going to have access to your friends from the last Butter. Additionally, if you click on your profile, you're going to be able to see your profile subscriptions. You can also join the Xbox Insider program settings and more. Of course, one thing that I didn't mention is that you're going to need a Microsoft account for this to work so that you're going to be able to join the Xbox full screen experience. And of course, to exit out from this full screen experience, you can always press the Windows key. And as you can see, it automatically switched us off from the full screen experience. As easy as that. If you want to use the full screen experience again, just click on the Xbox full screen button and it'll be toggled on yet again. I'm really curious about your opinion on this new Xbox full screen experience in Windows 11 and the fact that it is now available for pretty much all computers that are enrolled in the dev or better channels. But of course, this experience should come on the main release maybe in a month or two. So it's going to be quite interesting. Please let me know below in the comments. What's your opinion on this? So this is pretty much the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget that in the article below, you're going to have all the information you need, Vive tool and all the commands used. And of course, again, a huge shout out to Phantom of Earth on Twitter or XI. 
www.tickbase.com. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Imani from TickBase. Until next time, have a nice day.